Fighting a monster that is too hard? That's because Monster Hunter was conceived by the same guys that made Kamiya Cake Factory to be a multiplayer cooperative game, which means most things are somewhat skilled for multiple people. But I have a solution. Convince your friends to play with you. Now you may be thinking, what are those? How can I get them? Try going on Craigslist and pay for temporary friendship like I do, paying for temporary love with hookers. Now that you have your buddy Leopold, you still have to convince him to play Monster Hunter. If Jim is a fan of Dark Souls, tell him he can roll around and dodge monsters, which are essentially boss fights, all the while getting better and better memorizing their attacks, ultimately leading them to call it the Dark Souls of killing endangered animals. If he's more into Elder Scrolls, also known as Skyrim prequels and origins, then don't worry, tell him how he can go around the map collecting useless crap he most likely won't even use. As you can see, we already have a basis for an argument. Since Michael is already played off, he just needs a small push and he will suck at the game alongside you. I won't since I'm a god at it. But perhaps you didn't pay and figured out how to get friends by speaking to someone in real life like a weirdo. But that means the money incentive won't work, so you need even better arguments. Say your friend plays Minecraft, just tell them he can craft and mine in the game just like that Swedish game conditioning kids to enjoy labor again. Maybe he's been playing an MMO or a very grind intensive game. Inform them how in Monster Hunter you can hunt a monster as much as you like but the bastard will simply not hand over his prostate. A true grind fest. Maybe they're more of a puzzle gamer. Then challenge them to figure out what the fuck all the skills and effects do on name alone and make a cohesive build. Or perhaps you like first person shooters. Monster Hunter has an American school simulator mode, making your paid actor feel right at home. Now all this would convince any hardcore gamer to play with you, but what if they aren't, or maybe you smell. Don't worry, I have your arguments right here. Rope and a firearm you can buy at Walmart. Make him. Just kidding, that is a satirical joke and is no way meant to be taken seriously. You two, please, I have a family. So they aren't into games much. Show them the designs and aesthetics. Actually, don't show them the aesthetics. The monster designs are some of the most creative the industry has to offer, either anatomically or biologically. It will pique the interest of an artist or nature enthusiast. If that's your job, then that's called a biologist. What if they are a little too into biology and are furries? Well, just show them the E621 tag of Monster Hunter. That'll get them excited in a year. And to celebrate Pride Month, Capcom even includes a femboy monster in the game. That's right, this pretty and elegant milking monster? Yeah, it's a dude. Dick and balls included, and if all this doesn't work, you can always offer them cheese. That will work 100% 50% of the time. And now that you have your hunting homie, do not cooperate. For cooperation is a sin and will enrage God so much he will invent languages again. So don't. But have fun, and you're welcome for teaching you how to get friends. Tune in next time where I have no idea what to make next. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.